Chip Equipment Powerhouse ASML has not met its expected orders, yet its sales in China remain robust despite U.S. sanctions. Today, we're diving into how ASML, a leader in the field of lithography systems, made a significant impact in the first quarter. Sales to Chinese customers impressively made up a record 49% of the company's total sales, amid escalating geopolitical tensions and stringent U.S.-led export controls. Chinese chipmakers have cleverly shifted their focus to producing older generation chips using tools that evade these restrictions. But what implications does this strategic shift hold for the global chip manufacturing landscape? And how might this influence technological advancements worldwide? Don't go anywhere as we uncover more about these urgent questions and look into the extensive consequences these industry maneuvers could trigger worldwide. ASML the leading provider of equipment for computer chip manufacturers, announced lower than anticipated new orders for the first quarter. However, its sales in China remain stable despite the restrictions led by the US on its exports. Shares of Europe's largest technology company, which had increased by 34% this year, fell by 6% in early trading. The downturn in new bookings can be attributed in part to global economic fluctuations and ongoing trade tensions, which have affected various sectors including semiconductor manufacturing. These challenges underscore the volatile nature of the tech industry, where supply and demand can be unpredictable. Despite this, ASML's position as a critical supplier to chipmakers ensures its continued relevance in the market. The company's technology, particularly its extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines, remains essential for producing the most advanced chips used in everything, from smartphones to high-performance computing systems. ASML maintained its financial outlook for the full year, expecting sales to be consistent with last year's 27.6 billion euros, or $29.3 billion, and is preparing for significant growth in 2025. ASML's resilience in maintaining a stable financial outlook, despite a drop in net income and sales, can be seen as a testament to its robust business model and strategic planning. The company's ability to forecast and adapt to market conditions while investing in future growth opportunities, particularly its 2025 projections, shows a clear directive towards sustaining its market leadership. This strategy not only aligns with industry recovery trends, but also positions ASML to capitalize on future technological advancements. The company's net income for the first quarter stood at 1.22 billion euros a decrease from 2.05 billion euros in the final quarter of 2023. Sales dropped to 5.29 billion euros from 7.24 billion euros. New orders totaled 3.6 billion euros, significantly underperforming the 5.4 billion euros predicted by analysts surveyed by Reuters. In the analyst Mark Kesseling cautioned against excessive scrutiny of the results, citing the potential variability in order intake despite the disappointment. ASML reported that sales of its lithography systems to customers in China accounted for a record 49% of the total in the first quarter, approximately 2 billion euros. According to the investor presentation released with the earnings, ASML's significant market share in China highlights the country's growing influence in the semiconductor industry. The 49% sales share underscores China's strategic importance to ASML and highlights the complex interdependencies in global tech supply chains. As geopolitical tensions influence market dynamics, companies like ASML navigate these challenges by adjusting their strategies to maintain their competitive edge and compliance with international regulations. Outgoing CEO Peter Wenig stated in a statement that the company's outlook for the full year 2024 remains steady, with expectations of a stronger second half aligning with the industry's ongoing recovery from the downturn. He characterized 2024 as a transition year. Wenig, who is set to retire, will be succeeded by Christophe Fouquet at the company's annual meeting. The leadership transition at ASML comes at a pivotal time when the company is poised for strategic transformations. Christophe Fouquet's upcoming leadership is anticipated to drive the company through its next phase of innovations and market expansion. His background and expertise in semiconductor technologies will be crucial as ASML continues to develop new products and enhance its existing solutions to meet the evolving demands of the tech industry. ASML holds a dominant position in the market for lithography systems, which are machines costing hundreds of millions of euros each and utilize light beams to aid in the creation of microscopic circuitry. The company stands to gain from upcoming chip plants, 
backed by government support in Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, China, and the United States. ASML's advancements in lithography technology have revolutionized chip manufacturing, making it possible to pack billions of transistors onto a single chip. This technological leap has been pivotal in the miniaturization of electronic devices and the enhancement of their capabilities. ASML's EUV lithography machines represent a breakthrough in precision and efficiency, pushing the boundaries of Moore's law and enabling the next generation of microprocessors and memory devices. According to forecasts from industry group CMI, China is set to add the largest amount of chip-making capacity in 2024, followed by Taiwan and South Korea. U.S.-led export restrictions intended to limit China's development of advanced chips have prompted Chinese chipmakers to concentrate on producing older chip generations. This strategy allows them to use equipment not covered by export control policies. Han Deeperink, chief investment officer at Aureus, expressed non-concern regarding the quarterly figures, highlighting the company's optimistic outlook for long-term growth. He mentioned that ASML would profit from increasing demand for artificial intelligence chip capacity and a concurrent rebound in the memory chip market. He noted that ASML's prominence in the industry offers defensive qualities. Aureus holds 5 to 6% of its 2 billion euro equity portfolio in the company. The focus on older generation chips by Chinese manufacturers, while a strategic response to export restrictions, also reflects a broader trend where global demand ships influence technological adaptations. This move not only helps circumvent the immediate limitations set by export controls, but also serves to bolster the technological base of China's semiconductor industry. As such, these developments may reshape the competitive landscape of the global semiconductor market, potentially leading to more diversified and resilient supply chains. For those interested in a deeper dive into the evolving semiconductor landscape and the technological arms race, the Semiconductor Industry Association SIA, offers comprehensive reports and insights. Their data sheds light on the global semiconductor market trends, including production capacities, technological advancements, and geopolitical impacts on trade and manufacturing. These resources can provide a broader understanding of how companies like ASML adapt and thrive amidst complex global dynamics. Additionally, the International Technology Roadmap for Semiconductors ITRS, provides forward-looking analysis, predicting trends and setting standards in the semiconductor industry. The ITRS reports highlight the technical challenges and opportunities facing the semiconductor sector over the next 15 years, offering a long-term view that complements the immediate data and trends from SIA. Together, these sources equip readers with a robust framework to understand the strategic decisions in the semiconductor industry and their global implications. In conclusion, ASML's unique position at the crossroads of technology and international politics paints a complex but fascinating picture of the semiconductor industry. As the landscape evolves with geopolitical shifts and technological innovations, the decisions made by companies like ASML and the strategies adopted by nations like China will undoubtedly have profound implications for the future of global technology. The ongoing developments in this sector promise to offer not just challenges, but also opportunities for innovation and growth. Stay engaged as this dynamic industry continues to unfold, shaping our technological capabilities and the international balance of power. How do you think the strategic shifts in chip manufacturing will affect the global balance of technological power? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Explore endless tech possibilities for an exciting future.